Hi, my name is uh, Steven Peck, and I'm a senior linebacker for uh, Washington and Leeds football team. I started playing football only uh, my freshman year of high school. You know, hockey was my sport uh, growing up as a kid, and uh, once I couldn't play that anymore, I uh, started playing football, so freshman year. Yeah, sports I played in high school is football and baseball for the most part. Um, and, you know, once I realized I had the opportunity to continue playing sports in college, that was something that I was definitely going to take advantage of because I, I literally cannot envision my life without sports, so that's pretty much it. It was really the combination of academics and athletics that WNL offers. I was looking at a lot of the uh, NESCAC schools up in the Northeast, and uh, honestly it sounds cliche, but when I made my recruiting visit down to Washington and Lee, um, in the middle of January, my senior year, it was 10 degrees when I left uh, Michigan, and when I got down here, it was 55 degrees. And I, uh, I figured pretty much then that you know I can I can do this I can do this weather, and uh, it's been it's just been an absolute blessing. It's been a wonderful combination of uh, school and uh, the opportunity to continue playing sports. So it's been an incredible choice. Uh, if I could trade places with uh, one player on this team, it would probably be Russell Stewart, just so I can remember what it's like to be a skill position player again. I miss those days. If I was Coach Abel for a day, I'd probably only do one thing, and that would uh, be to give Mike Pallix a shot at uh, kick returns. The kid has some moves, and I've seen him in practice. So I just think he deserves a shot back there. <laughs> if they made a movie about my life, who would play me? Um, I'd probably have to say Dwayne The Rock Johnson, just because I feel like there's a lot of similarities in you know, our upbringing and uh, our lives, our career paths in general, so I'd probably say The Rock, yeah. Uh, when I was a kid growing up, I was going to be a professional hockey player. There really wasn't any other uh, life goal for me. Uh, I was a huge Detroit Red Wings fan. Steve Eiserman is, and still is, my hero. I worshipped him growing up as a kid. And, uh, you know, I was going to play hockey for the Red Wings and wear the, uh, the winged wheel in Detroit. So that was pretty much it. I was dead set on that. <laughs> Uh, my plans for after graduation, um, I've actually uh, accepted a job with a uh, hedge fund in Detroit, Majestic Capital Management, so I will be a uh, portfolio analyst there. My favorite class at WNL, uh, class I took winter term of my junior year, sports journalism with uh, uh, WNL football's very own Bob DiMaria, um, just, just an unbelievable class. Just me and uh, a bunch of friends arguing about sports with uh, Professor Di Maria for an hour, it really doesn't get much better than that. And I hope he gives me, uh, hope he calls my name a couple more times on the loudspeaker for giving him a shout out here. <laughs> uh, WNL is just such a special place in general, I feel, because the quality of kids that it attracts and that are here, you know, every single day, whether sitting, if I'm sitting in the fraternity house or in class or even here on the football field, I'm surrounded by some of the brightest kids I've ever met in my life. So it's really just the quality of kids and um, from all their diverse backgrounds and everything that they bring to the table. It makes for a really special learning environment and uh, just a general place to play sports and you know spend four years of college at. It's a pretty wonderful place. If I could have one last meal, um, I know exactly what it would be. It would be uh, two McDoubles with no mustard uh, two McChickens and a large Reese's McFlurry from McDonald's. Um, McDonald's is just my favorite restaurant in the world, and uh, there was there'd be not anything else that would compare to that meal. Uh, you know, no, I don't really have any superstitions before a game, but um, I do have uh, one ritual. I will always call my uh, my mom and dad about an hour before we take the field, and if they're here, I'll call them and have them walk over and. Uh, you know, we'll just chat for you know five minutes, and uh, you know I did it in high school, and uh, I did it in high school mostly because it calmed my nerves and whatnot before a game, and I do it now just to continue the tradition, and it's uh, something that means a lot to me. It's nice having them here and knowing that I have two people that uh, if nobody else does, they still really support me. So that's uh, it's nice to have that. Uh, if I could pick one teammate to uh, do the Amazing Race with, it would have to be Jesse Jenkins. Um, for the sole reason that if I got tired, he could just carry me and we could keep going and we'd probably win.